What is going on guys? Welcome back to another video. If you can't tell by the location, we are down here at J&J Fab. We are here to see our favorite fabricator ever. What's up? How you doing? I'm doing good. How are you? What? Do I have to black anything out because it's a grudge car? No. Oh, okay, we're good. What's no, going on? Nothing. What do you... Take that shirt off and put a John Doc shirt on. Right right oh, now. Got one. <laughs> What's going on? No. So... You did some work to the old salty chicken. For those of you guys that don't know, this is the race car, the salty chicken. And Jamie's been molesting it for the past couple weeks. Yeah. As you guys can see by the Rock Solid Motorsports front end kit that he installed. Look at the welding. You're just an animal. Yep. You're just an animal. So, try. how was the uh, the last little stint of, of installs? Oh, it's fine. I mean, definitely got to have some good tools to do tubs and everything. Yeah, oh yeah. So, you can paint them too. You're literally too good to me. Same silver. Hope you don't get too much smoke in the car. That looks... I'm so excited right now. Look how nice... Look at all the room. I could almost run a big tire. I bet you're excited about that. Yes. <laughs> These are the Wolf Racecraft mini tubs along with their subframe connectors. You guys can kind of see peeking through the floor there. And their adjustable coil spring. What I mean, what's the term for this? The adjustable ride height thing? Something, Something like that. And you can see that through four subframe connectors. So, Jamie, come here. Let's talk to you. You did the install. How was the install on them? Good. I mean, I printed off all the instructions offline. So, cut, measure, cut, and then weld back because <laughs> you cut too much. <laughs> oh, you're the guy that you uh, you you measure after you cut. Yeah, I, li exactly. I like your style. We got a lot in common. And you did the mini tubs too. And like Jamie just said before, you put seam sealer on it to try to eliminate all the smoke. But uh, the amount of room you gain with that. It's pretty awesome. I'm pretty excited. How was the install? Like a one to ten? How would you rate it? Or at least a nine. A nine? Is that on the easy it's or the the? It's just so much you gotta cut because you cut the frame out. You know, frame's missing here. The other side's a lot bigger spot mm -hmm. that you have to cut out. You just, you're cutting through like three or four layers, so you guys just have to cut a little bit, cut more, just keep cutting. There's a lot of cutting. Yep. A lot of stuff, probably a little bit of weight you took out too. Yeah. And I'm excited because I got some zesty wheels on the way here. I hope you weren't expecting me to take this rag today. Oh, you're fine. He had the door open. He was like, oh, they're finally going to take it, but no. Well, I mean, it's, it ain't 40 degrees today. <laughs> <laughs> One thing that I'm pretty pumped about is the through floor subframe connectors because that really stiffens up the car. And put your cage. Yeah, which you probably enjoy that, huh? Yeah. So now I put the cage right on there and we're ready to rock and then when I leave this thing won't be like Lifting the front left and leaving the front right on the ground It's gonna leave nice and flat and the whole purpose of this is just to get everything as solid and rigid as possible So we can go as fast as possible. I'm so excited. This <laughs> looks so awesome. Jamie you did a great job Thank you. I'm gonna kind of I'm gonna cry. I might tear up a little bit here. Look at the rust. Yeah, okay, listen. I'm like talking about I'm gonna cry, and he goes, "Look at the rust." <laughs> it's called the salted chicken for a reason. How rusty was it? I don't know. I think it's pretty bad. Miles start over. Oh God! Don't. <laughs> All right, I'll bring you another F body. <laughs> God, look at those subframe connectors. Just by the title, guys, you can kind of get the gist that they connect both subframes. Sweet. Place to put a lift. Yeah, you don't have to pin or crush the pinch weld on these cars anymore. God, look at this. So nice. So many bars down here. Got the TRZ anti-roll bar, spawn torque arm, strange S60 rear end. They pass your test, Ben. You just hit them a couple times, they work. <laughs> Jamie's freaking out. He's like, man, I hope they don't just pop through. <laughs> this car is so rusty, it might pop loose. Oh, come on, it's not that bad. So in case you guys are wondering where you can get any of this stuff installed, Jamie here at J&J Fab is definitely the guy to go to. His contact information is in the link below. God, I did not expect. I, I literally bought a perfectly good car. It ran and drove and went 13.7 at the track, and look what we did to it. She messed up a perfectly good bracket car. Right I there. did. I did. That thing was consistent. All right, so what we'll do now is I got a couple parts. I'll show you guys that, a couple more parts here, and then I guess we'll tinker with the car a little bit. Just ruin Jamie's Sunday. That's what we do most Sundays. Jamie's like, I'm just going to relax, and then we show up and... Okay. But you guys should definitely follow Jamie on Instagram and send him all DMs asking questions on fabrication and everything like that because that's what the man does. We we'll get it done. <laughs> <laughs> all right, guys, so moving forward with the salty chicken build, what we're going to do now, now that we have pretty much everything out of the car that's going to come out of the we are going to install our Kirky seat. So we get Kirky seat. 
some racecraft seat brackets. Uh, racecraft was pretty, uh, pretty big part of this build, you could say, because I got their mini tubs and all the other stuff like I talked about. So these seat brackets here um, make it super simple to install. So pretty much bolts right up. This Kirky seat was in the boosted rooster. So as you can see, it's already drilled out in a couple spots. So we're just going to bolt this up, get it into a spot that we like, and then we're going to get that TRZ steering shaft and kind of set that up. And this is going to tell a lot of how we're going to have to install the cage, how the cage is going to be, where I'm going to sit, seating position, pedal position, everything like that. So I'd say this is kind of somewhat, somewhat important. Would you guys not agree this is probably something more important? Feel comfortable in the car? I'm not going to go fast so if you don't feel comfortable. We got this stuff bolted up here tentatively. We're just going to hammer this down. And this is super simple. I like it just because it takes a lot of guesswork out of there. On the cow, we had to drill into something similar to this and then bolt it up underneath. This just makes it super simple. Use a lot of the factory locations and works good. See, I need to get it. The way that you have it sitting in the other car, you sit up so high. I think I need to sit lower than that. I prefer sitting low in the car. You look like a midget in your car. <laughs> so I'm, I'm used to driving like that. No, you need to look Like your up. eyeball. Here's the window seal and your eyeball is like right here. Oh, I don't look at the side window. Look at the, the windshield. So I'm like this far above you the You don't deck. need a wind in it because you have the door panel. It's <laughs> <laughs> actually a That fits better. That's so high, dude. Look at the Kirk. He's literally in the ceiling. That is high. Lower like lower than low on this. I need to go to the lowest one on the back. Like the, the back back one? Yeah, yeah. The back back one and then the front one too. It's going to sit straight up if you do that. Though. I had to move mine back because I'm tall. I didn't make one. Well, I mean, I don't even sit to the top of the Kirky, but I mean, there's a bar there, so that's got to go there. Why would you go down? Better. Jason's not a fan of washers. I didn't do wash. This is test fitting. <laughs> test fitting. Yeah. <laughs> the ancient one driving. Number one, the bolts need to go this way because this is going to be sticking you in the earth. Yeah, I feel you. Hmm. You let the man install his seat. He ain't work on his own race car. <laughs> 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 work on my own race car. With this steering column, I can put the wheel anywhere I want. I feel like you just need to get it in here because you're going to have to adjust it later. All right, so, all right we need some bolts. Well, give me some bolts to throw in there. We could have good filming, but Jamie's over there cutting up shit for God knows what Ross is building. Half inch and nine sixteenths. Which half one is it? Everyone, everyone comment down below what you guys think it is. Half inch? Looks like half inch. It says the the drawers are literally labeled. <laughs> he can't read. Yeah, they say oh, they say winches, screwdrivers, clears, rivets, rivets. Half or nine sixteenths. I like having a bunch of speakers in here. You get get a close up on this. Anyway, speakers still here. Listen, street you, car or no car, you would have to leave the speakers in to play some Death Leopard and White Snake. Powerful. Seen this? Oh, what? oh shit, rust, bro. Right there? That's an yeah. awful spot to have it. Like, I've never see seen an body rust in my entire but life. Me neither. They're always coated in this. Yeah. Stuff. That's lightweight, though. Think about it. Look here. Lightweight. That is lightweight. Come <laughs> on, a Sunday? Jogging. He's got his leggings on. What's, what's that? <laughs> <laughs> you know what it is? <laughs> Oh yeah. Hold on. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> Jamie, he didn't install a new floor. Install it. <laughs> install it. He did. I can't be around here. I want everyone to know on John's YouTube channel that his truck smells like a dirty gym locker. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't. There's something wrong with the damn air filter. No, the air okay. filter? Cabin the air cabin, filter. Cabin air, right. filter. The air filter. <laughs> yeah, there's something wrong with the driver. <laughs> the actual scent that I have in the car, the little Christmas tree, is Jim. <laughs> <laughs> Nasty ass. How far back? You, you're in a damn recliner right there. Oh, God. That's, just, that's sleep mode. Now here's where you can sit, you can sit some time in the lanes right here. Yeah. Yeah. You have to. Wait on everybody else's dumbass. <laughs> you like you can't pedals. Number one. Done. Done deal. Over with. So we gotta come forward automatically. <laughs> yep. 
What? About school bus? <laughs> <laughs> See, I feel like I'm sitting up way too high. Like, cause like absolutely not. You don't think so? Yeah. No, that's perfect. And so long as this. If anything, the cool. seat needs to come down some more because. Well. You're gonna have to end up cutting about half the seat. You're gonna have to cut about that much of that seat off. You you would leave it in this height though? You wouldn't go lower? It needs to go lower, I think, but there's no way to go lower. Well yeah, there is. We drill the hole in the curtain seat mount higher. I drilled that hole. This curtain uh, seat in the So we'll pop it off. You probably don't have a drill bit around here that's that size. Yeah, you know, we do. We do. <laughs> we have a torch. Just three eight. <laughs> and then we need to move it up like half an inch, right? Yeah, at least. Yeah. Half an inch, half an inch right here, and then I can go down there, and then we'll move it all forward. And I think we're in there like swimwear. To me, the curtain needs to be touching the bottom of that bracket. I yeah. agree with that statement. I'm glad I wore joggers. I'm so flexible to walk. Yeah, my, my haunches are way up in the air now. And that's what I'm like. I'm well, big toe. The, the back there. can come up just a hair. I think the whole thing needs to go forward. I think if the whole thing moves forward about two inch, notches, two notches. Yeah. yeah, I'm good with it. Yeah. All right, so we got the seat in there, moved up, and I, don't, I, I think I'm, I'm pretty happy with the position I'm sitting at. We'll try it out here for size. I had a funny one. I had a funny one. Oh, cool. man. What? Yeah. I, see, I, like, to go, I like it. Yeah. I like it. I have to raise my knees. Yeah, you need to sit though. As long as I'm done. That's why I, I feel like I'm sitting high. Here, as close the door. See where your elbow's at. Well, you sit too low, Nicole. Well, you're sitting pretty low. You're already pretty low. That's, that's perfect. Well, so we're ditching the headliner. No headliner. Can you put a 20 card in Yeah. Okay. The one that's going to go up here. Is that you part of the top? Or you want to go in front of him? You really need to go back. <laughs> right. The only way I can go back is to move the pedals back. <laughs> He's yeah, we can go back one or two. What do y'all know about pedals? You're not running the, you're running the stop. Like the Ooh, pedals. Right I got pedals right there. He's in the lock. Eight. Yes. Doing some high heels. Alright, so move the seat back. And that'll be I mean, spot. Jerry, big one, they do the same thing. They'll, they'll take top pedals like that and just put a little thing on it. I mean, on. I'm fine with that. I'm fine with moving back. back yeah. I'd rather sit further back and down than. You're a whole lot up. better. The way I look at it is, you're a whole lot better to sit further back, make a cage like that, and then if you ever decide to sell the car, anybody can fit in it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, if you build a car for a midget like you, <laughs> it's pretty bad if somebody's six foot four. This is coming from the midget. Yeah, this is coming from one midget to another. Well, I know. <laughs> All right, so I guess we'll move the seat back and then then we'll put the wheel in according to where that seat is So the wheel will be like so I want to be able to put my hand my like my arm up against the curtain And then hold the bottom of the wheel like because if I have my arm up here when I let go the, the trans brake I'll be like <laughs> From one gnome to another you'll be fine. All right <laughs> No. All right, as you guys can see, we got the racecraft seat bracket in there with the Kirky seat. We have the TRZ steering shaft that is tentatively in the car. We are going to put the quick release on the wheel here in order to get the correct spacing so we know where everything has to go in order to get it locked in. So if we go over here, we got Ben working with the wheel. This is out of Jason's old Pro Mod, putting the strange center cap in there to go with their quick release. So here's the quick release. I showed it before. If you're on the market for a quick release, this is... This is the one. This is badass. It's 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 pretty awesome. So we're gonna put this together now, get it on there with the wheel, and then get that in the car. Alright, so here we are. We got the, the strange quick release with their little center cap. Look how nice look how nice that is. This is on Jason's bent ass wheel. What do you think? Zoom in so it's not crooked. Yeah, I'll zoom in so you can't look it. Pow. If it's crooked, it's not because of me. Hey, thanks yeah. for the crooked wheel. That's a seasoned wheel? Yeah. That okay. wheel has got seasons on it. All right. All right. Well, Bojangle I guess. Bojangle seasons? <laughs> Bojangle seasons. Cajun seasons. Yeah. Hey, don't start saying that. I'm... <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I guess we'll see how this fits in the car now. It's like too, is it too far up? Like the wheel would have to go down or? You can't do that. The angle cannot be changed. No, I can change it through here. Oh, I can change the whole. The, 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 I can change the ball right there. This. Like, all right. Well. What do you got, Sears? 
I think that's uh. No, your steering shaft angle like right here. Like perfect. Right there. Yeah. 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 Then we have those other pieces, those U joints. Yeah, you got another chicken build is moving right along. Uh, Big Cat to Strange and TRZ uh, rocking a bunch of their parts on here. They've been a huge help in this build, so be sure to go down in the description and check them out for any of your GM needs. Any, any of your needs, really. They do a bunch of stuff with uh, like G bodies and Monte Carlos. I know Wes was looking at and stuff like that. So. Um, TRZ's big with Mustang. Yeah, and the Mustang stuff, so they do a bunch of rear ends, and then uh, Strange Engineering, obviously the, the S60 and the quick release, the brakes, everything. Uh, both those companies are top notch and have been very supportive throughout this build, so um, I'm excited. Can't wait to get this thing rolling. So, uh, what we're going to do next, now that we got all this stuff done, is we're going to get it out of here in the near future. You, you, you think that's coming soon? <laughs> we're going to. This thing, how long has this thing been in your shop for? Yeah, I don't know. I need to go check the uh, <laughs> storage bill. Well, what? Four months? No, probably three months. It's all right. It's not our fault at J&J Fabrication of being slow. It's John's fault for being slow of getting parts. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, everyone check out J&J Fab. Also, follow Jamie and Jason on Instagram. Other than that, that's going to wrap up today's video. Be sure to comment, like, subscribe. Get your LS Nasty merch in the description below. Other than that, we'll see you guys next stay time. Stay toned. Yeah, and stay toned. Stay toned. Oh, wow. Yeah. That's going in the vid. Yeah, it is, yeah.